This morning in our series, New Year, New You, How to Stay Informed in 2009, joining us is Kenneth C. Davis, author of Don't Know Much About History. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good morning, Harry. No pop quiz today. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no failure. <laughs> uh, let's, let's first talk about you. Never graduated from college. I didn't. Uh, I joined that long list of, uh, of American, notable Americans. Famous <laughs> Americans. Some, some Bill famous. Gates, for instance. Yeah, it's one of those do as I say, not as I do things right. as far as I'm concerned. But you can make yourself smart. I think that... Or if, informed. Well, absolutely. You can make yourself smart and informed, and, and they go together. Um, I think that there's, if there's a day that goes by where I feel like I haven't learned something, I, you know, mm -hmm. that's not a good day. Right. Every day is filled with teachable moments. We, are, we have this notion, and it goes back to when we go to school, mm -hmm. that school is where you go and sit down in a row, mm -hmm. and then they hand you a piece of paper at the end, and then you're done. But right. it's not. Education goes on, and that's more important now than ever before because of what's happened in the country. And here's the truth of this. We talk about New Year, New You, but the real takeaway from this is it's more important to know what's going on now than ever before. Harry, I think the most important thing that happened last year, at, at least uh, we heard things like, yes, we can, and I can see Russia from my house. But the most important thing I think we heard was Alan Greenspan saying that his basic assumptions were wrong. Right. And here was the man we thought was the master of the universe mm -hmm. telling us that his assumptions were wrong. And I think that's something we should all take and say, I have to look at my assumptions. Mm -hmm. I can't depend on everybody else to tell me what to right. do. And that's part of being educated, being informed, and there are ways to do it that make, and it's fun, and that's the important part of this. I think, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take something away from that, because what was, uh, 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 the Greeks said, a self-examined life, you know, is not, you, you have to do this. We have to do this on a continuing basis about the information that we take in every day. Absolutely, and, and I'm here, the good news is it doesn't have to hurt. This isn't like, you know, eating your vegetables out of a can. Mm -hmm. We can make vegetables and they taste good. <laughs> You know, All right, give me my first, where are some of the places we should be looking for information if we really want to be informed? Okay, the first place I always start, since I was a child, is the public library. You know, the public, librarians should be running, should be in charge of things, you know? <laughs> You, you go to the library, they give they you... Didn't shush, they, they didn't shush you? No, they don't shush you, but they, they tell you uh, wh what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. they, they're helpful, yes. and it's free. Right. I, I mean, we play, pay for it with taxes. So the, I, I say the librarians should be running the government. It would be, but, but, but by the way, even if you don't have the Internet in your house, you can go to the public library the, and access anything. Absolutely. In Vermont, where I spend a lot of time, the, the libraries are the... Are, are filled with people lining up to get onto the computer for a half an hour, not to you know surf and, and play games and play solitaire. Right. They're, they're looking to post their resumes, looking for jobs. They're looking for research. The internet is that for so many people, and yeah. there are a lot of people who don't have access, and the public, public library provides that. But speaking of the internet, it's wonderful, but dangerous also. Right. Well, because you can get lost in it. You just need to know what you're looking for. But I think if people were going to make a New Year's resolution, I think get smarter would be better, even more important than, and if you're smarter, you're going to do a lot of other things better. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. That's my motto, Harry. Kenneth Davis, as always, what a pleasure. For a complete list of Ken's Get Smart in 2009 list, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.